Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to 2024. So the first couple of videos that I'm doing for 2024 is basically videos where I look back into 2023, the things that I've learned in 2023. And this one, which I'm really, really excited to do because I'll be answering questions from um, a site that I got online. This one will be my version of taking stock, right? So essentially, if you're not sure or if you don't know, oh, anyway, hi, welcome. My name is Gatleo. Welcome to my channel, Gatleo Malela channel, where we just hang out here. Okay, this is a great safe space for introverts. We chill out here. We, we just like our little life. You know, I think I like this little life. Yeah, we're those kinds of people. We like this little life and we just kind of hang out here. We have a good time. We laugh, we learn, we cry, uh, all of the good things. So if you are keen on becoming one of the JK family, especially in 2024 and you're new and you're watching this and you're not sure it's a good time here it really is a good time so please do click the subscribe button like the video if you do once you have watched it i will remind you at some point join the channel membership space because there's a lot more content in there as well and would love to have you over as always thank you so much for choosing me over and over again let's get into this taking stock video so essentially if you're not familiar with what taking stock is taking stock is essentially looking back and looking ahead but where you are thinking about some of the things that you have learned in the past year some of the things that you are looking forward to what you're currently feeling what you're currently thinking all of that kind of thing but this one is slightly different because it doesn't have as many prompts it's literally about seven questions that i literally saw the first three questions and i said these are great these are great. And I want you to take this exercise as well. I will try and get this video out in January so that you have the time in January to sit back and say to yourself, okay, I'm going to write these questions down. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to plaster this somewhere and I'm going to look at it so that mid year 2024 or at the end of 2024, you look at how your year in 2023 for started right and um what you're still looking to achieve what you're still looking to go blah 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 all the things um self-reflection is a really really great way of building self-awareness and it's one of the things that help you especially you know put your ducks in a row especially when it comes to the beginning of a new year all right so let's get into these questions i do not want to make this video too long questions to ask yourself so write this down Get your pen, get your paper. Going to put the question here, right? Am I where I want to be? Am I doing what I want to do? Do I feel like I'm on the right path? So essentially, am I where I want to be? And if I were to answer that, absolutely not. Absolutely not. What do you even mean, bro? Um, I have still so much to accomplish. Um, for me, my destiny <laughs> my destiny in life what i've been called to what my purpose has been uh you know what 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 purpose god has shown me in my life is that i want to change lives right i want to change lives not in the sense that i'm a doctor and i want to change lives or whatever i want to change how people feel inside about themselves and i only just started i feel like i only just tip tip I hit the tip at the at, at uh, throughout last year, right? I really just started, and um, I, I've I've still got so much to do. Do I feel like I'm on the right path? Am I doing what I want to do? Absolutely. I'm absolutely doing everything I want to do. I'm aligning myself and my life with my content right? I'm aligning my content with my life, how it currently is. So everything that my content will, content will reflect is the purpose that is my life, right? Where I am just making you more aware, more self-aware, to take care of your mind, to take care of your heart, you know, to want the best for yourself, to want a good life for yourself. Um, I do that every day with work, with my coaching, but at the same time, I try and project that in my content as well. So I want to align everything to come together in one space so that even though you can watch me in a video and then laugh, we can laugh and have a candid with Kato and unpopular opinions that kind of thing that's fine um everybody needs a moment and some time off to laugh but 
it'll still come back to what I am trying to do, which is changing the lives of others in the sense that, you know, you are enough to be self-aware, to know what you want, to fight for what you want, to become the best version of yourself. I feel like that's my favorite line, to become the best version of yourself. Uh, what did I dislike about the past year? Is there anything that I want to make sure does not repeat itself this year? Um, yeah, I think definitely for me, what I disliked about the past year is being taken advantage of, being taken for granted, um, sitting back and, you know, having my peace of mind shaken. You know, I, I was hurt a lot by people that I thought cared for me in the previous year, um, where uh, really horrible things would be said about me or to me. Um, one of the things that was said by, by someone I truly, truly, truly cared about um, is the fact that they said, you know, she's become so sensitive lately. Be careful what you say because she just might end up going back to that facility. If you don't think I'm going through a lot, child. So I think I'm trying to be, to stay away. You know, I'm trying to not, what I disliked is the fact that I allowed people to insult me, to treat me badly, really. People to treat me badly. And it's crazy because I would never allow just any random person to treat me badly. It's always the people who are in your circle, in your life, in your periphery even, right? So not just entirely just close here, but just also in your periphery who will say things or do things or whatever. And that, that will really, really hurt you. That will really, really get to you, right? So that's one of the things I disliked. I, I think I became a little bit of a pushover a little bit last year um, I allowed people to walk all over me I allowed people to insult me um, I allowed people to hurt me and get away without saying sorry I think I stopped doing that because I did pick it up in the middle of the, the year I did pick it up and I stopped allowing it say round about the September time then I was just like okay okay then I started finding ways and how to deal with that, which I am slowly working on it. What did I love about last year? Oh my goodness. Uh, lots of things. You know, I think what I loved about last year is that I've officially started to get to coach, right? I started to get to coach. It was really hard for me. I struggle with a lot of compassion fatigue. So it's really, really hard for me. But I started to get to coach. I think my period is coming. Ooh. One of my friends actually said to me that I think you have ADHD, bro. Like there's no way. Like I can send a friend of mine a five minute long message, voice note, and say 10 different things in it. The weirdest thing. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point. Um, uh, what did I love? I got to do what I love to do. I released two workbooks last year which are fantastic and if you do not have one now i think you should have one it is great it is not dated so you can literally put, but write the date at the beginning of the page and all of that it is great as your little therapy in a book or your little companion to help you keep track of your goals or to help you keep track of things you want to work on uh physical goals mental goals relational goals professional goals it is really really a great bedside buddy for you too i was writing in mine just yesterday because i'm planning my year already i don't know about you if you're walking you're, you're mid-january now or whatever January now, and you still haven't planned your... Girl. Okay. Um, I loved that I got to... I got to do a lot of things for me last year, right? I focused on a lot of things that I want to get off the ground for me. And I think that's, that's just one of the biggest things. I spent a lot of time with my grandmother last year as well, um, speaking to her on the phone, seeing her. Um, my grandmother is older now, so... I worry about her a lot. I get afraid a lot. Um, and I realize that uh, I, when I see her, I get very, very emotional because I realize every time I see her, how frail and frail she's becoming. And yeah, but I loved getting the opportunity to spend time with her. That for me was fantastic.
Content. What are my strengths and my weaknesses? Let me tell you something. I don't know. <laughs> my strengths is that I am very, I'm determined, right? I'm, I'm very determined. If there's something that I want, I'm determined to get it. I'm determined to get it done. I will get it done with or without anybody. I will figure it out. I will get it done. So I'm very determined. I'm very ambitious, especially about achieving the goals that I want to achieve, right? Um, I am um, disciplined, right? I'm very disciplined. So if there's certain things that I need to get done, there's certain things that I need communicated, there's certain things that I need to work on for myself, I am disciplined. I will absolutely do it. If I need to do it, I am going to do it. Um, strengths, I am, I'm warm. I'm welcoming. I don't, I'm very, very self-aware. So there's certain things that I'm not going to say um, just because I want to hurt someone or just because I want to blah, blah, blah. I'm very self-aware. And because I am self-aware, it makes me aware of how I behave towards others. So that's one of my biggest strengths for me. Um, one of my good friend, Lucia, says it to me all the time. She says to me every time we speak on the phone, and I'm like, no, I'm going to do this. This is what I did. And she's like, you know what I love about you is that you're very self-aware. And I am. No, but it, but it took a lot. It took me going to therapy. Yeah? It took me doing a lot of things. And, and as much as I am self-aware, I still have leniency towards certain people. And I don't think that's going to continue on for much longer. Do you know what I mean? But I'm very self-aware. And that's a strength for me. Um, I'm a hard worker. It's a big, big strength for me. I'm very strong in my faith. That's a big strength for me. Because when I'm going through really difficult times, I tend to lean on my faith quite a lot. Um, weaknesses. Bit of a people pleaser. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Bit of a people pleaser. Um, my money management isn't the, the, the strongest. It's gotten better. It's gotten better. In the last couple of years, it's actually really gotten better, but I still don't think it's where it's at. You know, I want to be that person who, who saves and very well and whatever. But, um, you know, when you're in a situation where you can't really save as much as you want to, then it's it's different. Right. And I think for many of us since COVID and all of that, um, our money situations have changed. They're, they're, they're different. You know, some people do well, have done well in the last couple of years. Um, and then there's 99.9% .9 of us who are really going through it who are really going through it so uh it's a weakness of mine uh that i'm not that great with money man management except in the last year or even two i've i've realized the the power and importance of money and working on on changing that you know working on having that be a strength for me do i need to modify my goals for the year slightly right i've i've got a set of smart goals that i have written out for myself i actually was starting to write out everything in the last couple of days hence why i said earlier on that i am um writing a lot in my spring has sprung workbook but i also use the live and wellness one i use them differently for different things and uh, so i'm starting to write a lot of my 2024 um stuff goals what I want to achieve, what I want to look into, all of that. Um, now, I'm starting to do that now. So there are certain things that I do need to modify. There's certain things that I need to modify about this channel. And I'm working on that. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to let go of, what to keep. Um, yeah, so there might be certain changes. Uh, there's certain things I need to modify in my business, right? Um, uh, I can't I can't spread myself thin. I think last year I spread myself thin quite a lot. Um, I released two workbooks last year. I think I might just release one, but uh, one solid, beautiful one, right, this year. Um, but much later on in the year. So there's certain things that I definitely need to modify in terms of my goals, uh, professional goals that I want to achieve. Emotional goals, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely certain things that emotionally that I need to work on for myself, for my relationship specifically as well. Um, Diesel and I have just uh, been working through some things. You know, trying to have a healthy relationship also means very, being very self-aware about how you perceive the relationship, how they perceive the relationship, and bringing that together. So we're, we're working on things like that. So there's a lot of things. I just write them down. So... That was question number five, right? 
what's the next thing i need to do for each of the goals that i have set i don't really typically discuss my goals on my platform but uh maybe if you want me to do a video you know a video about uh what my goals are uh, the ones that I choose to share, then maybe we could do that where we could share what our goals are for the year. Maybe I could bring you in and see if we can talk around your goals. Maybe comment down below. Let me know what your goals are for the year. I'll put in some of mine, which I don't mind sharing on here. Uh, there are some goals that are just personal for me like I, I like to move in silence right I let I let my success make its noise but I like to move in silence when I'm doing certain things when I'm working on workbooks whatever whatever I'm here until it's ready to drop right so it's the it's that kind of thing so maybe let me know maybe we could do a whole goals based um instead of like a vision board uh video we could do like a goals based video so let me know if you'd like to see that mm. And when will I take action on each of these items? For me, essentially, my goals have a short term, mid term and long term, right? I've got short term, mid term, long term goals, and I've got certain time periods for when I want to achieve those goals. Some are in within the first three months, some are in within the first six months, some are in if I can achieve this goal, this one goal just this year, work on it just this year, this one goal, that's a long term goal of mine, then yes. If I can do it sometime at some point this year. Um, but that's essentially how I plan out my goals, right? That's how I figure out. Okay, we're going to wrap this up really quickly. So, But that's essentially how I figure out and I plan out my goals for the year. Okay. And so I can't seem to find those prompts on my phone, but essentially I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you did enjoy the video of me just taking stock of my life currently, where it's at, you know, what are my plans, what are my goals, that kind of thing. If you would like to see a video specifically based on goals, maybe let's do it together as a collective thing. What are some of the goals that you want to achieve um, this year in 2024 below? Write them down below and I'll share with uh, everybody else in that video and I'll share some of my personal goals as well and then maybe I can do a video called smart goals for you to then know exactly how to separate your goals you can't just you just can't just have a like like I want to be a gazillionaire this year doesn't work like that. Your goals must be smart. <laughs> and maybe I could run you down in a video of what smart goals actually are. I could do that. I normally do that with my clients, but I can do one video. One video where I break down what smart goals are so that we can have a, like a little lesson where we can plan our 2024 together and create our goals together. So if you're keen on that, then tell me what some of your goals are for 2024 write them down in the comments below and then i will bring forth some of my goals for 2024 uh, the ones that i choose to share and we could have a little coaching les lesson on smart goals okay and we'll talk about it we'll talk about it in the next video if you enjoyed the video thank you so much for being here as always love you so much uh i'm gonna go now i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did, please give it a like, subscribe, join the family. Uh, please also join the membership space. There's maybe like 33, 35 videos in there if you care to see them or watch them because there'll be a lot more membership content this year that is very different. So yes, thank you so much for being here. Thank you always for choosing me over and over again. Until the next one, I'm going to go and I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, sayonara.